Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. In this today's video, we are building an advanced consumer form using HTML, JavaScript, and Google App Script. This is the form allow user to upload and copy an image, then save the details to Google Sheet and the image to Google Drive. Like this. So let's dive right in. What are we, we are going to build today is that we will submit the customer form. Means we will write a name, address, mobile number, age, gender, then you select an image and it will upload the image to a Google Drive folder. So let's enter some random data. James Wilson. This will be the address and this will be the phone number and then age then uh, gender male and then image so it will give the option to crop the image after cropping if we submit it will submit the image to google drive and also shows the result and also shows the result over the hmm, Google Sheet. And see. So let's dive into the coding part. So first, what we'll do, we'll go to sheets.google.com, and then over here, go to new blank sheet. So give it any name. customer details and over here let's name it the first one of his name second column address mobile number age gender and then image Okay. And let's format this the header part. Increase the font size. Let it with it color. Make it large. Okay. And then this go to the extension and then app script just taking some time okay this is the app script name the project as customer details okay so now we'll going to write some code over here. First, we'll uh, build the UI UI element like this. So for this, what we'll do, we'll create an HTML file with the name index. This is HTML file, and we'll write the following. Code. So we'll explain this code. In the header part, what we have done, I have input some boost bootstrap uh, SS file and also toaster file and the crop crop library so that we can crop the image and also J query and uh, the JS file of the respective uh, CSS class that we have a CSS library that we have imported. So this is the custom style that going to use for styling the event. This is a very simple form that uh, is built with the using of chat GPT. So 
so th this is the name name input field this is the address field this is the mobile number field this is the age age field and this is the gender field and uh, this is the image image field here is the file file uh, here is the input type is file and this will this is the uh, part where the prop image will show over here and this is the submit button and this part is used for the uh, this is the model model part where where the image will show over this model for propping purpose and uh, this part is the js part so what uh, this will do is that check if the image input field is changed if it is changed then it will show the crop model and when we uh, done with the cropping then it will call this function so this is the very basic part so there is no complication is there so after cropping when you submit the form so this is the part where after submitting it will call this this part so first uh, it will change the button to please wait and then it will disable the button so here i have created the button okay so after that it will save the input name to be constant name mobile to a mobile number and then it will create the file name for the image so file name is name underscore mobile number and then parent it dot jpg and then it will call the upload file function with the base 64 data of the image and file name and then when it complete the upload and it will save the data with the help of this function so now let's dive into the code js part so we'll write the code js part in this file so this is the coding part so what it will do it will call when this run it will call this function to get function so when it's called this function it will redirect to this index function the index page so this is the index page so after calling the index.html when when over here it will click the submit button it will call load uh, upload file function this one and what here here the function is doing is that it will get the id of the folder that was in google drive so let's create a folder in google drive and use that id over here So drive dot google dot com. So let's create a folder. Oh sorry. Let's create a folder. Name it Stemar image. Which so customer is this one this one is the folder so first what we have to do we have to share it so we'll share in one with this link okay now for that we will go to that folder and we will copy the folder id from the address address bar that is folder and slash and then this this id we we'll copy that and we will paste over here and then it will decode the 
paste it to code data and then it will save save into the code and it will return this url so this url url will be used over here over here okay so after saving that it will return the url and let's see okay this here return the url image url and over here it will create that data a name mobile number gender age image url image url over here and then it will send the data to submit form function so let's see the submit form function over here so what it will do it will uh, select the active states and then active spread states and then, the, and then get the state by its name customer details so let's name it the status customer details and then it will increment the row index by one and then it will append the data and for the image it will use the excel Person image and then it will customize the size 20 by 20 for the image and it will show over there here. So let's try if it's a work. So for that we have to deploy the project as the project at first we have to configure we have to configure this as web web app so we have to click the name customer ticket entry and then with anyone access with anyone so deploy at first it will ask for the permission So give it all the permission. Okay, complete. Copy this URL. And then let's enter this URL to the browser LC. Now let's enter some random data let's and let's see it's working okay then and then our is here which is some giving some error but the data has been saved and uh, image image also then over here okay. so let's fix the problem over here so you must allow to face data from external for all okay let's allow with the permission i hope it will work now let's see Let's try another one. has been saved to the google drive and also it will show the data in the google sheet so i hope you enjoy this video and uh, 
and if we have any problem getting this type of form please comment in the comment box bye bye